hello everyone so in this video i'll show you how you can create a docker image for a node.js based application so as you can see i'm already on a page which shows certain uh, node.js based files okay so we this is a sample to do application right where people can put their task and this application is written in uh, node.js programming language okay so you can see uh, the sample code over here now we are not bothered about the code in this scenario we are more bothered about how to build a docker image for a node based application okay so we have our package.json file where we define all the npm packages or node packages required to uh, required to be downloaded whenever you are running the node application okay and the next part and the uh, part which we are more bothered about is the docker file how do you build a docker file for a node based application so i'll quickly open and explain you this file so first thing what you'll do is you will start from a base image okay so you can start from a base image in this example i'm using node colon 14 base image okay you can find all the base images for uh, which which can be used with uh, different variants of node images okay it could be a node base alpine image or it could be a node base uh, ubuntu image okay you can find all the variants of node images over here so i'm using the simple node image uh, which probably comes with uh, by default it come by by default node image is alpine based okay which comes pre-installed with the uh, node runtime okay so once we have uh, confirmed like confirmed which image we are using next we will set the working directory as uh, app okay so here is all the commands which will be executed henceforth or after this line next we are copying the packet.json file okay again inside the app directory and then we are running npm install which will install all the necessary packages once the packages are installed then we are copying the remaining files okay then we are saying that its application would be exposed on port 3000 okay and then finally we are starting the applications so we are saying node and server.js so once you click once you start server.js it will start the entire program for you and start the entire application for you okay so with this being said let's uh build this application now i'm doing this in my windows local laptop itself you can use the same commands in anywhere all right it could be an ec2 machine or it could be an azure machine or it could be a, a github action job right or a github action workflow it could be anywhere these commands would just go work okay the first thing is that we need to build an image so we'll say docker build right and i'll say this is a to do app so i'll say to do image dot it will first download the node 14 image from docker hub and once that is downloaded it will uh, next step would be to setting the working directory and then copying the necessary file running npm again finally starting the node application so it has done all these steps you can see over here next is to run our application so i'll say docker run itd hyphen p let's say i want to run it on port 80 locally on my laptop okay and port 3000 is where my application is this thing to do app and the image which we want to use is to do image which is uh, downloaded locally or it is there it is built locally on my laptop and done and now i can access the application so i can say localhost and the path to the application is to do so i'll say to do's and this is our node based to do application so here you can add your task and it would be added inside the node application okay again in real time it's not as simple it would be a database where the data would be saved but again which that is not our concern for this demo okay we are more bothered about how do you build a node based application or how do you build a node based application inside a container and that's what we have done all right so i hope you like this video and uh, if you have any other request or if you want to see how to build a dotnet based application or any other type of docker application uh, mention in the comment section all right thank you for watching